Logan Harris, seventh start of the season for the left-hander, coming off an outing against the Arizona Diamondbacks in which saw Hogan Harris not get able, not able to get out of the fourth inning, scattered 10 hits. Chris, and I think for Hogan Harris, after the nice run he had been on, maybe a bit of a, a shock. So Gunnar Henderson will lead off. And Henderson rolls the ground yeah. ball through the middle for a leadoff base hit. Yeah, he came in hitting 255 against the lefties, and that average just went up. 2-2, two -two, grounded to third. Sliding is Harris to his feet. The throw to first, and he got Rutschman. What a play by Brett Harris, and he's done that a number of times since being promoted. And here's the pitch, and yeah, that swung out of miss. Down on strikes is Mountcastle, and a fastball up and away at 92. Henderson is going as the pitch is inside for down the third base. It gets past the third baseman Harris. Henderson gets to his feet. He's going to try and score. He will make it in as the throw goes all the way to the backstop. Gunnar Henderson with a stolen base and then an E2 on Shea Langoliers to make it 1 0 Orioles in the first inning. Suarez, 34 year old righty. Really consistent uh, for the Orioles. You can see 17 games, 10. This is his 11th start. Lede yeah. goes down swinging a fastball, a curveball, and a changeup for a three pitch opening strikeout. And that'll bring up on Duhar. 293, two homers and 15 RBIs. 2 2. That's crushed to left field. Hayes going back on Duhar. Annihilates. And this game is tied. We've been waiting a while for that one. 110 off the bat. Gets over the wall in left field. And the Orioles didn't have that one to nothing lead for long. Well, this ball is sizzle. A little slide piece that just kind of mixes and then take off. Well, Westberg starts things. Hands held high in the right handed box. Westberg smokes this ball. An 0 2 pitch that is absolutely drilled off the scoreboard and left. That is in play. And Jordan will have to settle for a ringing double. That scoreboard over the wall in left center is in play. The yellow line above it signifies a home run. And that screamer by Westberg will have to be just two. And now it is going to get Austin Hayes up to the plate, celebrating a birthday today. Hayes hits a line shot. That's a fair ball down the left field line. It'll roll up against the wall in the left field corner. And Duhar plays the carom. This will get in Westberg. Orioles with back-to-back -back doubles. And just like that, they have the lead back. It's 2-1. Two, two balls that have been squared up by the Orioles. Well, I was going to say a loose team is usually a good team. And that's what this Orioles group is because the chemistry that's been established here is real. And the Orioles with the bases loaded. So here's Rushman. Rushman robbed on a great play by Brett Harris in the first inning. On another 3-2, Harris misses high. And Rutschman works a seven-pitch walk to force in the third run. That's popped up in foul ground, shallow right. On comes Butler, and he makes the catch. So two runs off of two doubles and three walks. It's 3-1 Orioles. Now Shea Langoliers is one for 10 against the Orioles this year. Right side, Mateo sliding. Mateo with the dirt to first. Wow, what a play. That looked like it was ticketed for right field for sure. And Mateo sweeps away Shea. Kevin, it was in right field. <laughs> You're right, it did make it there. Geloff in the air to right center field. Cows are on the run. He will get there and he makes the catch. Another one, two, three inning for Albert Suarez. We're through four here in Oakland, California. Rutschman punches the ball to the right center. Adley's got a base hit and he's on for the second time. An RBI walk and now a single. Now two balls and two strikes. Ground ball to second. Geloff steps on the bag and throws to first. There it is, a 4-3 double play for the A's. Exactly what Hogan Harris wanted and needed. And now two are gone. Yes, sir. On pitch number 98, Hogan Harris gets a ball that just rides up that ramp. Nice easy hop to Zach Geloff. Steps on the bag with plenty of time. 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball to center. J.J. Bladé will have room, and somehow, someway, Hogan Harris gives five innings with just three runs against him. It's 3-1 Orioles. 3-1 here in Oakland. Lawrence Butler turns on Albert Suarez, his first pitch. 
And a shallow right. Now Suarez has retired 10 A's in a row. Strike yeah. three, a fastball. There's five punch outs for Albert Suarez. So fifth strikeout that Suarez has picked up in a little less than five innings. Pitch to Schumann is a high pop-up silo ball. Here the pitcher's bound, walking down as Westbrook, now moving towards the mound, makes the catch as he climbs to the top of the hill and then goes down the other side near first base. And that will end the inning. Make it 12 in a row set down by Albert Suarez. Suarez gone the whole way for the Orioles. They lead it 3-1. to one. And Shea Langoliers leads it off in the seventh. Fastball hit hard towards center field. Kowser's back to the track. At the wall. Jumps. And out it goes. Shea Langoliers, number 16. It's a one-run game. Langoliers powers it out to deep left center. And the Orioles' lead is trimmed to 3-2. Long and loud off the bat of Langoliers, and that will be the final pitch thrown tonight by Albert Suarez. And yet Cano will try to keep the lead here in the eighth after fine work by Jacob Webb. One, two, ground ball up the middle. Long way to go for Henderson. Spins, fires, throws to first, and it pushes Mountcastle off the back. So Schumann gets a hit, and he's aboard. Gunnar Henderson had to range a long way up the middle go into a spin all while heading out to center field and I think Max Schumann very well may have had that ball beat out regardless of whether the throw was online it would have been close one one Schumann running throw down to second is late well it was not a great pitch for McCann to throw on Schumann off to the races decent jump throw just a little short Henderson was not going to be able to let the ball travel any closer to the bag Schumann moves up 90 feet and the job gets a little easier for Miguel on Duhar here in the bottom of the eighth inning he struck him out uh, bottom dropped out at 97 Oh, well, you go 2 and 0 you figure well he's going to get a pitch to hit and he did it was up in the zone out over the plate but he took it and he chased a ball that might have been borderline and then watch this ball 97 you got to swing because it's two strikes Rooker is walk popped out and struck out infield moves back of course with two out in the bottom of the eighth and the is down by a run Schumann's at third and Rooker with a ground ball to the left side great pick by Westberg and he ends the inning had to be perfect and was well we know Ryan Mountcastle likes hitting against lefties and he's done so very well over the course of his career a walk to set up Mountie with the bases loaded and the veteran lefty the three two on the way is swung on and missed. It gets it with a sinker. Alexander works out of it as the Orioles strand three. Well, the A's sees a change in momentum, perhaps, as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Kimber will come on, trying to get his 22nd save. That number 21 the other day uh, up in Seattle, 438th save, went ahead of Francisco Rodriguez. 2-2. Two -two. Gallo yes, chases. Wow. Strike three. Kimbrell with a couple of Ks. And the Orioles hang on to win the series opener here in Oakland.